Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're looking at coalescence. Coalescence, the t -t -t and yeah, yeah, yeah sound. So, what is coalescence? Well, coalescence is a, it's a type of assimilation and it's when two sounds combine, they come together to make a third new sound. So, for example, what sound do t -t -t and y -y -y make? What do they combine to make? Have a look. I have three examples here. What do you think? Pause the video. Say these three phrases. What do you notice about the t and y sound? Okay. If you like, then have a listen to me. And can you hear what sound do I make? Are you ready? Let's do number one. I hate you. I hate you. I don't really hate you. It's just an example. <laughs> I hate you. Number two. I do. Don't you? I do. Don't you? Number three. For eight years. For eight years. Okay, did you notice what sound did the t and y combine to make? Well, it's the ch, -ch, -ch sound, the ch sound. For example, ch ch ch, -ch cheese, ch ch ch, -ch chew, ch ch, -ch cheers, ch ch, -ch teacher. So the t and y combine to make ch 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 ch. -ch, -ch. So coalescence, when a t sound is followed by a y, y, y sound, the sounds often coalesce to make the ch sound. Not always, but very often in natural, fluent, uh, everyday speaking. For example, hate you, hate y, 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 you, hate you, hate you. So those three examples from before, hate you, don't you, eight years. Yeah, they become hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I do. Don't you? I do. Don't you? For eight years. For eight years. Okay, so this is super common. And it's really natural and it's a big part of connected speech. So let's have a practice. I have here a short conversation. Uh, pause the video. Can you find the different places where t and y coalesce to make ch? Okay, pause the video, have a think. Okay, if you ready, let's check. First, listen to me. What you doing? Last year's taxes. Don't you need a break? It's kind that you ask, but I need to finish. Let me know if I can help you, won't you? Okay. Actually, I'll get you a coffee. Okay, did you hear them? Okay, here are the uh, examples. Repeat after me. What you doing? Last year's taxes. Don't you need a break? It's kind that you ask. But I need to finish. Let me know if I can help, won't you? Okay. Actually, I'll get you a coffee. Okay, if you want to practice, go back and practice those. Just one thing, what you doing? Uh, not everybody says it like that. Some people say, what are you doing? Uh, uh, what you doing? It depends. And let's have a look. What kind of question is, is this? What kind of question is this? 
Let me know if I can help, won't you? Let me know if I can help, won't you? What kind of question is that? Okay, it's negative. Let me know if I can help, won't you? Okay, it's a negative question tag when you have a sentence and then a tag on the end that makes a question. Let me know if I can help, won't you? So question tags, negative question tags are perfect for practicing your coalescence. So let's have a look. I have, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 examples of question tags. Pause the video, try to say them and see if you can make the ch -ch -ch sound. For example, uh, you are, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Practice by yourself. Okay, let's have a look together. Nice. Okay, repeat after me. You are, aren't you? You are, aren't you? You were, weren't you? You were, weren't you? You do, don't you? You do, don't you? You did, didn't you? You did, didn't you? You have, haven't you? You have, haven't you? You had, hadn't you? You had, hadn't you? Okay, next. <laughs> you will, won't you? You will, won't you? You can, can't you? You can, can't you? You could, couldn't you? You could, couldn't you? You must, mustn't you? You must, mustn't you? You should, shouldn't you? You should, shouldn't you? And the last one is would. You would, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? Okay, great. Okay, so like I said, the ch -ch -ch coalescence is really common in questions like this, question tags, and whenever you have t and you coming together. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully that's useful. We're going to have another video like this on a different type of coalition, coalescence. So make sure you keep checking the channel and check the other videos on connected speech. There's lots and lots uh, of useful stuff. Uh, right. Any questions, comments, leave it and I will check. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.